hello everyone in this video we have uh, four big circles that are touching each other and we have a small circle that is in the middle which is touching all the four circles it is given that the radius of uh, all the big circles which are all equal circles so, so the radius of each of them is uh, 10 cm and we have to find the radius of this mid circle okay before we proceed to the solution if you like my content please do subscribe to my channel okay so now let me name the uh, center of this circle as a here and uh, the center of the circle as b this has a c and this has d okay and we also have this point here which is the point of contact okay now if we join this point a b and this point of contact we get a straight line see like this so if i if i join these three points we get a straight line but how can i say that this is a straight line so let's discuss that first here so here at the side we have two circles that are touching each other okay so we'll be having three points in this case one is the center of this circle then center of this other circle and the point of contact okay now if i join these three points i claim that we get a straight line okay to prove this i am going to draw the common tangent for these two circles like this so this is a common tangent and we all know that the angle between tangent and radius is always 90 degree at the point of contact so this is a radius this is a tangent so this angle must be 90 degree in the same way this is radius this is tangent so this angle must also be 90 degree so we have 90 plus 90 so as you can see in this case a 180 degree angle is being created isn't it so because of that we can say that this line which joins the center of these two circles with the point of contact is always a straight line okay so we have proved that ab is a straight line in this case okay so in the same way if i uh, join b and c through the point of contact this will also be a straight line if i join a and d this will also be a straight line and if i join c and d this will also be a straight line now i'm going to have another claim that is i'm going to claim that abcd is a square okay abcd is a square and how can i claim this as you can see here this is the radius of the big circle so this must be 10 right this is 10 so this is 10 uh, this is also 10 this is also 10 this is 10 this is 10 this is 10 and this is 10 okay so as you can see we have a quadrilateral which has all sides equal to 20 right so 10 plus 10 is 20 all sides are 20 but we cannot say that it's a square just because of that because we also have another quadrilateral rhombus which also has all equal sides so how can we prove that this is a square here for that i will take the help of the diagonals okay so let me join the diagonals here so as i have proved already this diagonal must pass through the center of these three circles and the points of contact okay and let me join this diagonal as well that is bd okay now what are the lengths of this diagonals as you can see here uh, this length is 10 right this is 10 and this is 10 let's say that the radius of this small circle is r so this will be r and this will be r okay in the same way here uh, let me change the color for better clarity okay let me take this color so this is 10 this is r this is r and this is 10 so as you can see from the diagram the length of ac what is the length of ac it is 10 plus r plus r plus 10 right so it is 10 plus r plus r plus 10 so 10 plus 10 is 20 r plus r is 2r ac is 20 plus 2r in the same way you can see the length of bd as well that is 10 plus r plus r plus 10 so bd also is 10 plus r plus r plus 10 which is also equal to 20 plus 2r so we have a quadrilateral abcd where all the sides are equal and the length of the two diagonals are also equal so this must be a square because in a rhombus diagonals will not be equal but in a square all the four sides are equal and the diagonals will also be equal okay yes now let me focus on this right angle triangle abc 
so i have highlighted the triangle abc for better clarity and here since abcd is a square we know that this angle must be 90 degree right so we can find the length of ac using the pythagoras theorem so let me take triangle abc apply pythagoras theorem so it says that ac square that is the square of the hypotenuse will be equal to ab square plus bc square okay and here we know the length of ab and bc right as you can see from the diagram the length of bc will be 10 plus 10 20 and the length of ab also is 10 plus 10 20 okay so we do know the, uh, know the lengths of this uh, uh, side so let's substitute here so we get ac square equal to ab square is 20 square plus bc square is 20 square and uh, we get ac square equal to 400 that is 20 square plus 400 okay so ac square will be equal to so i can write this 400 plus 400 as 2 times 400 right okay so ac square is equal to 2 times 400 so ac will be equal to the square root of 2 times 400 okay so here as you can see square root of 400 is nothing but 20 right 20 square is 400 so the square root of 400 is 20 so 20 will come outside root 2 will be inside so the length of ac is 20 root 2 centimeter okay but earlier we have also calculated the length of ac in terms of r isn't it so ac is also equal to 20 plus 2 r so we can equate both of them so let's equate both of them so if we equate them we get 20 plus 2 r equal to 20 root 2 so i will take 20 to the other side so that uh, we get 2 r is equal to 20 root 2 minus 20 okay and here we keep 2r as it is so we can take 20 common here right so we get 20 times root 2 minus 1 now we will take this 2 to the other side so that we get the radius as 20 times root 2 minus 1 divided by 20 okay so i'm sorry it should be 2 right so we have 2 to the other side so we can uh, cancel out this 2 with this 20 so we have 2 times 10 as 20 so we finally get the radius of the mid circle the small circle as 10 times root 2 minus 1 centimeter and this is where we can stop so this will be the radius of the inner circle okay i hope all of you enjoyed the solution and understood all the concepts related to this solution for more such amazing videos kindly subscribe to my channel and i will see you all in the next video